Have you ever wondered what makes you happy? Where it comes from? Or where to find it? Well, if not, I'm glad to show you exactly where it is. Have a look around and try and spot something peculiar here. If it looks like a round-looking blob, just minding its own business, you, my friend, have found a frog. Now, frogs are very much different to your regular frogs. Apart from the unique spelling that frogs have compared to frogs, frogs have a very much different purpose in life compared to other known amphibians. So if they have a purpose, what do they do then? Well, they don't do that much. I mean, they're just frogs. To look at what they do exactly, we have to focus on what is happening on the inside. You see, it's interesting to note that frogs are mostly full of serotonin, 75% to be exact, which is the reason why they're so happy most of the time. 20% of the time, they also focus on what is known as dinner time. Frogs have a range of foods they may snack on in the wild. These range from bugs, worms, caterpillars, or flies. But uh, we don't talk about the flies, really. But when a frog starts to get really, really hungry, and that doesn't make the frog happy, that's when the last 5% of the frog comes out in anger. Did you know that by screaming, the frog is very slowly releasing some of their serotonin, making them smaller and smaller as they scream? As you can see, frogs come in all different shapes, sizes and colours, and if possible, like a stick group. You may know that a group of regular frogs is called an army. Well, for frogs, they're called a party of frogs. But just like any living creature, they seek that special someone to spend the majority of their time with, and it looks like this fella has an interest in someone. And sometimes if more than one frog is interested in another frog, they need to battle it out and see which one is more victorious. But how do they do that exactly? Well, this solution can be solved with a simple dance battle. those frogs that were able to find love, they can happily settle down and have a family. A family of hundreds. When an egg is ready to hatch, it grows a tiny little tail to help it move around. A tadpole normally spends the first few days of its life feeding on algae and swimming around being a baby, whilst living amongst the friendly creatures that live in a lake as well. Once the time has come, they will grow two little back legs. And eventually, its two front legs will start to come out. Once they start swimming with their front legs and back legs, the tail slowly starts to disappear. And once they're ready, they can emerge from the water and join the rest of the party. Just like anyone at the end of the day, frogs also get tired when the sun sets and start to get ready to go to sleep. Whether that will be with their group, their loved one, or by themselves, frogs are good at getting comfy and getting relaxed, ready for the next day ahead. Just to do absolutely nothing.